Come on. <laughs> I'm Ron Thorne, Principal Master Builder at the Fender Custom Shop. Today we're going to talk about the Stratocaster 1 guitar, a collaboration between the Fender Custom Shop and Celine Automotive, both here in Corona, California. In addition to being a guitar nerd, I'm also a little car crazy, particularly uh, Mustangs, Shelbys, and any other cool powered by Ford vehicles. I've had more than my share over the years. Last summer, I'm uh, sitting at the bar at my favorite cantina, Miguel's, and a gentleman sits beside me and I glance over and he's wearing a Celine shirt. And considering they're half a block away, I figure he's an employee, so I just lean over and uh, ask him, uh, so what are you working on? And his reply was, about a thousand horsepower. So, <laughs> all right. Their latest project was the Celine One, a brand new model that was coming out in 2020. Carbon fiber body, mid-engine. Fender has a history of working with car manufacturers, namely Ford and Shelby in the past, starting as early as 1999 for the 35th anniversary of the Mustang. Uh, and then there's been various Shelby models over the years too. So with that, I'm thinking, ah, this would be a really good collaboration. Both built in Corona, California. It just seemed perfect. And so, the Stratocaster 1 was born. First of all, what I would say very similar to Fender is born and raised in Southern California. And Southern California as an epicenter is really very influential around the whole world. So building cars and hot rods and supercars is just natural from my standpoint growing up here in Southern California. I would say the qualities that I look at in the cars is uh, have the engineering technology that goes into it, the sculpture and the design, and then the craftsmanship and the pride of craftsmanship, I would say would be very much in line with what Celine looks at and Fender looks at as well. The construction of it is completely different than anything else that Fender's doing right now. The first thing that came to mind was the fact that the Celine One was a carbon fiber body. I felt I had to build a carbon fiber body guitar. A carbon fiber shell for the sides and the back and a carved wood top which would be painted red to match the car. This was the first step of building the Stratocaster One. This is the plug that I hand carved. I screwed it to a Finform board which I then sprayed a gel coat around and then I started laying up the fiberglass and that is to make the mold to lay up the carbon fiber into. So here is the fiberglass mold. Ah, it's hideous looking. Usually I'm really good at this type of hands-on things. I've, I was disappointed in myself that I blew it. Yet the next morning I popped it off and it was absolutely perfect on the inside. Once I decided it's gonna be a carbon fiber body, there's still a lot more to it. And Mike Lewis and I went to Celine and we got to stand and walk around an S1 for about an hour. And I had a sketch pad, I was making some sketches, we were bouncing some ideas off of one another. And Mike came up with a great one because the, the vehicle is a mid-engine and you can see the engine through the tinted rear window. He suggested, let's put the power plant of the guitar, the pickup underneath a tinted glass window too. And I thought, ah, that would be a very cool element. Easier said than done. So I had to, had to figure out how to do that. The rest of its construction, there's a roasted alder center core, and that's what the neck, the pickup, the bridge, and the tailpiece are mounted to, just to give it some structure and some tonal qualities. The top is three quarter inch thick maple that I hand carved. Tried to mimic the lines and the, the rear haunch of the Celine One. Celine offered for their painter, Long, to paint the top for us. It's a five stage paint process to do it exactly like they do for the car. The neck is fairly straightforward. It's quarter sawn roasted maple with a three ply carbon fiber fretboard and head cap. It wasn't as nearly as challenging as making a carbon fiber Stratocaster shaped salad bowl. There's a few other details. One of them was 
where to put the controls. That one I struggled with. I didn't want to just put knobs on the front because I would break up the lines. So I considered using Jaguar thumb wheels on the side of the body. I had a few other ideas. And one weekend, I'm taking a car for a spin and I was just thinking about how much work your feet do while you're driving. You're steering and shifting, but you're, there's a lot of foot action going on and it just hit me. Let's control the guitar with your feet. You drive with your feet, play the guitar with your feet. So left the controls off the guitar, decided to make a pedal board and in lieu of a acceleration pedal, brake pedal and a clutch pedal, it's a volume pedal, a tone pedal and a wah-wah pedal. It's laid out like a foot box in a car. It was a great opportunity to stretch out on guitar building. Well, it's the perfect platform, and right in my wheelhouse, pardon the pun, it was spot on. All sorts of new things, and you know I love challenges like that. So carbon fiber, fiberglass, f a foot pedal control box, uh, plexiglass pickup cover. And you think about the vehicle itself, the Celine One, it's unique. Their own engine, their own body shape, I think it's a good homage. <laughs>